Today, I'll teach you how you can use ChatGPT to generate SEO content for your e-commerce website with the help of prompt templates from Keywords Everywhere. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to show you some very helpful ChatGPT prompts that you can use for your e-commerce website. Now, as you know, it can get difficult to have ChatGPT generate what you are looking for, but not anymore, okay? So to get access to these e-commerce prompts, you need to go to keywordseverywhere.com, and this is a browser add-on that you can install for Chrome and for Firefox, okay? So the first step is for you to install Keywords Everywhere, and the next step is for you to log in to your OpenAI account. Now, when you have the Keywords Everywhere extension installed and turned on, you'll notice two new things in your ChatGPT dashboard. The first thing is this templates button on the left-hand side, and the second thing is this continue button on the top right-hand corner. So to get access to the e-commerce prompt templates, you need to click on this templates button right here, and this will instantly open up the Keywords Everywhere's ChatGPT prompt templates widget. Now we need to click on the category dropdown and click on SEO. And for subcategory, we are going to click on e-commerce SEO. Now these are all of the e-commerce SEO prompt templates that we have available. We first are going to click on the product description generator. Now you can use this template to generate any type of product descriptions for your e-commerce website. So very, very helpful. Now you'll notice this widget expand for us to include additional information. So you can choose from all of these different languages. I'm gonna click on English. You can also choose from different voice tones. I'm gonna to click on creative, and you can choose from different writing styles. I'm gonna click on descriptive for this product description, and we need to give it the product description, okay? So this is where we need to describe or name the e-commerce product right here. So let's just say we are selling road bikes. So my product description is single speed road bike, 52 centimeter frame size. And we can also tell it how many words we want it to generate. I'm gonna keep it as 1000. You can specify how many headings you want and also how many total keywords you want it to generate for you. Now this is the prompt template. Now all the information that we added up here will automatically get updated into this prompt template. Now you can edit the text in this template if you wish, but this has been created and this template generates some very excellent product, product descriptions. So I'm not going to edit anything within this prompt template. I'm just gonna click on execute template. Okay, so within a few seconds, it generated all this content that we can use for our product page. So it provided us with a handful of subheadings right here. So the first subheading says, conquer the streets with our single speed road bike. And this is the text for that first subheading. And this is the second subheading, experience the joy of single speed cycling with three paragraphs right here. And then also the third subheading right here with the text. It also provided us with some possible H1 headings for our product page. So there's five H1 headings that we can choose from. The first one says, get your speed fix with our single speed road bike. The second one says, simplify your cycling experience with our minimalist road bike. Okay, so these are really good H1s that we can uh, choose from. And it also provided us with some broad match keywords as well. Now we can use these keywords to help us optimize the content on the page. And lastly, it provided us with a meta title and a meta description that we can use for this product page. So the title says, get your speed fix with our single speed road bike, lightweight and stylish. And the description says, experience the joy of single speed cycling with our sleek and minimalist road bike, and it continues. So we have all of this content that we can use to create a product page for our single speed road bike. So this is a very, very helpful prompt we can use. Now let's go to the second prompt. I'm gonna click on the templates button and click on the templates dropdown. And the second one is category description generator. Now you can use this template to generate category descriptions for your e-commerce website, okay? So you can choose from uh, different languages right here. You can choose from a variety of voice tones and also tons of different writing styles. Now we need to tell it the category, okay? So for this example, I'm going to put down road bikes for men. So that's going to be our category and we can specify how many words we want it to generate. So I'm gonna leave it as 500 and this is our prompt template. So everything that we selected up here 
automatically gets updated in this template. Now again, you can edit this template if you wish, but I'm going to leave it as is and click on execute template. Okay, here we go. So it generated this content that we can use for our category page that's all around road bikes for men. Okay, so it starts off the content saying, are you a man who loves to hit the road and explore the great outdoors? Look no further than our collection of road bikes for men. And it, and it continues. And I also like the last sentence. It's more of like a call to action. It says, explore our collection today and find the perfect road bike for you. Okay, so you can use this content for your category pages. Now I wanna to touch on this continue button on the top right hand corner. So if you hover over this continue button, you'll see some additional buttons that you can click on. And these buttons tell ChatGPT to do additional things after it generated a response, okay? So you can tell ChatGPT to continue where it left off. You can tell it to clarify the response, to exemplify the response, expand it, explain it, rewrite it, shorten it, or even tweetify it. So let's just say we want ChatGPT to expand on this category page content. We can just click on expand. Okay, so here we go. So ChatGPT expanded on that first response and it created more copy right here, okay? It says, when it comes to finding the perfect road bike, men have unique needs and preferences, and it continues, so on and so forth. And then it also gives you a summary paragraph at the end as well. Now you can add this text to the first one that it generated and paste it on your category page of your website. So this continue button is very helpful. It gives you some options in terms of what you want ChatGPT to do after it generates a response for you. Okay, so let's go to the next template. We are going to click on the templates button and click on the templates dropdown. And the next one is landing page generator. Now this template will tell ChatGPT to generate an entire landing page for us, okay? So we can choose from different languages, different voice tones, and also different writing styles. And for our product, it's going to be the single speed road bike, 52 centimeter frame size. And we can specify how many words we want this landing page to be, and also what the call to action should be as well. So I'm going to edit this. So click to purchase this bike today. Okay, so that's gonna be my call to action. And this is the prompt template. Now I'm just gonna click on execute template. Okay, so within a few seconds, it generated copy for an entire landing page for our single speed road bike, okay? So what it did first was create a user persona for my product, okay? You can see the demographics here organized in a very nice table. There is different data points for the demographics and the answers. This specific user persona, his name is Alex. He's 29 years old. He's a graphic designer. He makes 65,000 a year, he's single with no children, and he lives in an urban area, bike-friendly city. Then ChatGPT generated a landing page for my product with the above persona. Okay, so this is the landing page copy. So it starts off by saying, discover the ultimate single speed road bike for urban living. And then this is the first introductory paragraph. And then this is the next heading with another paragraph, another heading, and it continues. And then at the very end, it says, don't wait, order your single speed road bike today and discover the joy of effortless cycling. Okay, so you have all the content that you can use for your landing page to help sell your product. Now let's go to the next one. I'm gonna click on the templates button and click on the templates dropdown and click on bulk titles and descriptions. Now this template will generate meta titles and descriptions in bulk for your products. Again, you can choose from these different languages, different voice tones, and also different writing styles. For this example, I'm gonna click on persuasive. Then we need to add our products. I'm gonna put our first product right here, which is the single speed road bike, 52 centimeter frame size. And then I'm gonna put down another product right here. Okay, so we have two products and this is the prompt template and I'm going to click on execute template. Okay, so here we go. So for the first product, the single speed road bike, 52 centimeter frame size, we have the meta title right here and also the meta description. Okay, and the second one is for our other product, which is the single speed road bike, 49 centimeter frame size. So it provided us with the title and then also the description. Okay, so this is so helpful because you don't need to manually think about these meta titles and descriptions by yourself. Now you can use these prompt templates from Keywords Everywhere 
to help you generate this information within seconds. Now, let's just say we want ChatGPT to continue, right? We want more options. So I'm just gonna click on continue. Okay, so here we go. It generated more titles and descriptions for our products. Okay, so very helpful. Okay, so those are the e-commerce prompt templates from Keywords Everywhere I wanted to show you today. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel. And if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.